There is an evolving trend called face-to-face -face communication. Are you kidding? You, no, no, you're serious. Wait a minute. So they're saying that speaking to another person while looking at them in person is a new idea? As sad as that sounds, it's true. With email, text, cell phones, RSS, video phones, webcams, Twitter, and even written letters, a common conversation has proven and keeps proving to become a thing of the past. But we do it every day. This thinking is so backwards, but no one views it as such. Correction, we at Yene are not afraid to call this kettle black and bring the common back to its partner, sense. When you read something, do you really see the emotion in it? Even the greatest of the writers can express the tiny nuances in someone's brow lifting or a frown line wrinkling at a certain word of distaste. If you're gonna do something, why not do it right? Or rather, why waste your time and energy if it's not done right from the beginning? Enter Yene. You may still think that face-to-face -face is a thing of the past, but some really smart people who went to college feel otherwise. How about this graph, which shows us that only 7% of communication is words. It is 38% tone and 55% nonverbal movements. And this graph, which shows us that the ironically named Facebook has in fact had no effect at all on face-to-face -face communication and has not enhanced our relationships with each other at all. So there you have it, folks. Words have only a 7% effectiveness. <laughs> Chew over that the next time you debate between blogging and vlogging. Believe it or not, face-to-face -face lives on, and it's not just prehistoric way to communicate. How many times have you done it today? <laughs>